Kuwe tu ni wa upendo 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 Kuwe tu ni wa amani Kuwe tu ni wa amani Kuwe tu ni wa amani Yeah Dance before the Lord. And the Bible tells us na Biblia tuambia in uh, 1 Corinthians katika wakurizo wa kwanza chapter 15 sura ya 15 1 Corinthians if you are there kama uko pale nami sura ya wakurizo wa kwanza sura ya 15 chapter 15 verse 7 mstari wa 27 but thanks be to God ashukuriwe Mungu he gives us the victory ambaye hutupa ushindi through our Lord Jesus Christ. As you study the verses that precede this scripture, wakati unaendelea kujifunza maandiko haya ambayo yako katika sehemu hii, it is obvious that uh, the scripture is talking about the resurrection ni kawaida kwamba maandiko yanaenda kuhusu vivio of our Lord Jesus Christ Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo and God empowering us na Mungu kututia uwezo to live in this victory na kwamba tuishi katika ushindi huu and we, before we realize about 
there is a reaction kabla hatujaweza tambua uvivio huu it is good to understand what led to this resurrection tuastahili kuelewa ni nini kilisababisha uvivio huu we realize before resurrection tunagundua kwamba kabla ya uvivio 3 days earlier siku tatu nyuma pale something happened kuna jambo lilitendeka and i want to talk more of what happened na ningependa kusema mengi kusema na kile kilitendeka those three days earlier katika siku hizo tatu kabla ya uvivio this open from the book of 1 Corinthians 1:18 Wacha tufungue katika Wakorinto wa kwanza moja mstari wa 18 The Bible says this Biblia inasema hivi 1 Corinthians 1:18 Wakorinto wa kwanza moja mstari wa 18 For the word of the cross neno la msalaba is folly to those who are perishing <coughs> but to us who are being saved it is the power of god let's connect it with the first corinthians 2:8 wacha tuunganishe na wakorinto wa kwanza mbili mstari wa 8 And the Bible says in first corinthians 2:8 wakorinto wa kwanza mbili nane None of the rulers of this age understood this. Hamna mtawala wa nyakati hizi alielewa haya. For if they had kama wangelielewa they would not have crucified kama wangelimsulubisha the Lord of glory na utukufu. Verse 9. Mstari wa 9. But as it is written kama ilivyoandikwa what no eye has seen kuna jicho ambalo nimeona nor ear heard masikio kusikia do the heart of man imagine ama moyo wa mtu kuwazia what god has prepared for those who love him kila macho mungu ameandaa kwa wale ambao wanampenda and before we explain more let's connect with the uh with matthew 27 kabla tuja uh, tafsiri sana wacha tuunganishe na mathayo 27 matthew 27 mathayo 27 starting from verse 45 mstari wa 45 मिस्त्री That mystery hour there was darkness. Naye maanisha kwamba masaa matatu nyimaye kulikuwa na giza. Verse 46 and about the ninth hour Jesus cried out the loud voice saying. Mstari wa 46 ambao unasema basi hiyo masaa tisa. Bwana Yesu Kristo akapanga sauti akisema. Eli, Eli, Eloi, Sabakdani. Eloi na Masabakdani. That is my God, my God. Na maisha yangu, Mungu wangu. Second me. Bwana ameniacha mimi. Verse 51. Sari wa 51. And behold the curtains of the temple was torn in two. Sasa tazama pasia ya hekaluni ikapasuka mara mbili. From top to bottom, tokea juu mpaka chini. And the earth shook, na kisha inchi ikatetemeka. And the rocks were split, na mawe yote yakatawanyika. The tombs also were open, na makaburi yakafunguka. And many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Na mili yote ya watakatifu waliokuwa wamelala yakafufuliwa tena. Verse 54. Stay wa msingi na When the centurion and those who were with him. Kati wale watawala na pamoja na wale walikuwa ni wachungaji. We pamoja. have called this conference tumeita kongamano hili on the victory land katika mwito wa in other words we, we've been placed in a position where we cannot lose our victory tumewekwa katika sehemu ambayo hatuwezi kupoteza ushindi wetu if you believe with me say yes kama unaamini nami sema ndio we've been positioned in a place katika sehemu we cannot lose kwamba hatutaweza kupoteza ushindi wetu we will remain tutabakia kwa sababu ya washindi 
and Paul was reminded in the several places na pia mtumishi wa Mungu Paul ametukumbusha katika sehemu nyingine things like we are more than conquerors zaidi ya washindi he has reminded us ametukumbusha mara tena when the lord is for us akiwa upande wetu can be against us you men us Man can be a god because we have the victory. Ushindi. And you know with the ministry we fight every day. Unajua katika huduma huwa tunapigana kila siku. But the truth is. Lakini kema ni iki. We are not fighting to gain the victory ili tupate ushindi. But we are fighting already from the place of victory. We are fighting the war that we have already won. Tayari tumeshinda. And Paul reminds us Na mtumishi Mungu Paulo anatukumbusha tena. First Corinthians chapter 1 so and verse 18. Mstari wa 18. For the message kwamba kwa sababu ya ujumbe huu of the cross ambao ni wa msalaba is foolishness to those who are perishing wala ambao wanaangamia but for you lakini kwako wewe who is being so ambaye anaokolewa it is the power ni uwezo wa Mungu You already have the power of God through this message of the cross. And First Corinthians 2:8 it says when all the rulers of this world had known Biblia inasema kuna mtawala ulimwenguu aliyekuwa amejua kama wangelijua hapo kama wangelipata ufahamu they would not have crucified the Lord of glory because by crucifying him kwa kumsulubisha they gave me a new victory wakanipa ushindi mpya now you understand why we are on this land na sasa unajua ni kwa nini tuko katika msalaba wa ushindi understand why we are on this land unaelewa sasa ni kwa nini someone shed his blood mtu alimwaga damu someone died somewhere mtu alikufa mahali but by his death kwamba kwa kifo chake he took you from the nation of destruction ilimtoa ilikutoa kutoka kwa uharibifu and plus you Na on the line of victory mstari wa ushindi by him dying on that cross kwa yeye kufa pale msalabani My friend you are not a failure. Wewe si mtu ambaye You are not a failure. Wewe si mtu ambaye You are not a failure. Wewe si wa kushindwa. He's dead on the cross. Yeye alikufa msalabani. He died from the place of failure. Kutoka kwa kushindwa. And placed you on the land. Weka katika mstari wa ushindi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may call me a failure. Wewe si mtu ambaye si failure. Mimi sijashindwa. You may call me a fool that's a discretion I'm not a fool. Lakini mimi hakika mimi si mfu. You may call me poor that's a discretion maskini that's a discretion hiyo ndio unaweza jua tu. I know I belong to the land of victory. Lakini kwa ufafanuzi wa ushindi I don't live best of your discretion kulingana na mawazo na ufafanuzi wako. I don't care what people call you. Nisinge jali sana watu wanakuita nini ama wananipa nini. I don't care what they say about you. Sijali sana wanakuita nini. They have no power. Hawana uwezo. Kubadilisha wewe. The man who defend you. Mtu ambaye anaweza ku watu watu needed. Mtu ambaye anajua maana wako na anajua kile ambacho wewe ni wewe ni yeye ndiye aliyekuleta katika mstari wa Yesu. Na ni huyu mtu Jesus died. Wakati Kristo alikufa. And his death katika kufikifo chake lifted you akakuinua from that position kutoka kwa hiyo hali ya msingi na akakuleta on the line of victory wa ushindi we are on the victory land uko katika msari wa ushindi amen we look at you from the victory angle tunakuwa na mtazamo kwako tukao tunakuwa na wewe ukiwa mshindi That's where we belong. Hapo ndipo sisi tunapatikania. This rulers of this world were so foolish. Na mtumishi wa Mungu Paulo anasema, si unaona sasa 
wale viongozi wa dunia hii watu wanyakatizo na utawala huo walikuwa pumbavu they had no idea hawakuona jio mambo haya because by crucifying him kwa sababu kwa kumsulubisha huyu Yesu you know we belong you know where we belong ifanya atizi tujue mahali you know where we belong tunajua belong on the victory tunajua hapo tunastahili katika msaada wa ushindi how did that happen hii ilifanyika namna gani? Let me tell you now. Acha nikwambie hivi sasa. Verse 45. Sari wa 45. So the 27 of Matthews. Katika Mathayo 27 sari wa 45. Jesus is on that cross. Yesu yuko pale msalabani. The devil has realized is in danger. He has realized he made a great mistake. Ameshagundua kwamba alifanya makosa makubwa. And he begins begging Jesus. If, if you are the son of God come out. Just come down from that cross. Too late. Too late. Too late. The enemy is never on time. He is never on time. He went to kill Moses, he delayed. Alitaka kumua Musa akawa amechelewa. He went to kill Jesus, he delayed. Alitaka kumua Yesu akachelewa pia. And now Jesus on the cross. Sasa kwa msalaba. The devil is late. Bado yeye amechelewa. Please if you are the son of God come down from that cross. Tafadhali kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu shuka kutoka msalabani. Oh you said you heal others now heal yourself. Too late. Alikuwa ameshachelewa na mambo yake. And the Bible says Biblia inasema all of a sudden kwa mshangao there was darkness on the face of the earth katika dunia. I've taken over over 15 years studying this scripture. Nimechukua miaka 15 hivi nikiwa na maandiko haya. of the earth. Kuhusiana na giza katika uso wa dunia au nchi. I've tried to give him other scholars who are the about this. Nimejaribu kufikia wasomi nikitafuta kujua ni nini walimaanisha hii. Some people feel wengine wanafikiria the whole universe was mourning the death of Jesus. Kwamba dunia nzima ilikuwa ina inaomboleza kuhusiana na kifo cha Yesu. I can't get a better definition for that. Sijapata vizuri ufafanuzi kamili. But one thing I believe. Lakini kitu kimoja naamini. We don't like darkness. Hatupendi giza. We don't like darkness. Hatupendi giza. Robots operate very well. Wawezi wanafanya vizuri kwa giza imagine. Do you, do you most of the very well in darkness? Most dark things happen at night. And when you are going through your problem to say I'm going through my darkest hour. We have associated ama za usiku ndio kwa hivyo tumehusisha mambo yote mawili with the devil na pamoja na shetani tumehusisha mambo yote all the confusion as we associate with the devil hata kuchanganyikiwa kwote kuna uhusisho na yule mtu and i not go out of that definition na kwa hivyo siwezi toka umbali ya hiyo so let me also believe wacha pia mimi niamini kwamba the devil is the author yeye ndio mwanzilishi wa the confusion vitu vyote ambavyo kuchanganyikiwa darkness in our lives anasababisha giza maishani we cause all confusion in our lives anasababisha kuchanganyikiwa maishani and on this particular day nini ilifanyika siku hii ambayo inajitokeza darkness siku hiyo hiyo thousand cross by the enemy haikusababishwa na adui the devil was also caught in the same confusion kini shetani pia alijipata ako na amechanganyikiwa katika hiyo giza so you mean the devil on that day not have power to cause confusion kwa hivyo kama shetani hakukuwa na uwezo wa kusababisha kuchanganyikiwa I tell you one thing Wacha ni kwambie the game of Eden katika shamba la Edeni the devil deceived our father and our mother shetani alidanganya mama yetu na baba yetu and they sinned 
kupenda dhambi gave all the authority to the enemy wakarudi kuchukua mamlaka waliokuwa nayo kampa so the enemy could cause confusion in the life kwa sababu yule akasababisha kuchanganyikiwa maisha ni mwao but on this particular day of victory lakini siku hii ambayo ilikuwa ni ya ushindi on that day siku hii moja the devil himself was caught in this confusion shetani mwenyewe alijipata mchanganyikiwa our lord jesus katika maneno mengine bwana wetu yesu descended down to hell alishuka mpaka kule kuzima so the devil anaware akampata shetani bila kutambua na kujua power from him akachukua mamlaka and he restored back to the church akarejesha uwezo na mamlaka kwa kanisa And that's why when Jesus rose from the dead in uh, Matthew 28 verse 1 ndio sababu Yesu alipofufuka kutoka kwa wafu katika Mathayo it was by the power of the holy spirit ilikuwa ni kwa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu was the end na kuelekea of chapter 28 katika mstari wa Jesus says All the authority in heaven and on earth na ya duniani the keys of life and death i have been given and i send you to go and make disciples of all the nations in other words we are sent in the power to go in the power of jesus that that devil had authority over you that authority has been taken back and you will kill him you have that power amen amen, amen. 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 That's why you are in the victory lane. Don't know na wewe uko katika you are walking in the victory in the power in the authority of the Lord Jesus. Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. A police inspector. Askari mkuu mkuu wa maaskari ama polisi. Kem back in his home ali tokea kule alikokuwa ameenda karudi kwake nyumbani and his son came and asked the police inspector na mwanawe akakuja na kumuuliza yule mkuu wa maskari dad i need some money for this and this baba nataka pesa kwa sababu ya aina hii and the father ignored the son na baba akampuuza mwana and this son sneaked into his bedroom Aulio anaingia katika chumba chake cha kulala he took cha baba yake cha kulala he took the uniform of the police inspector from his father akachukua eh, mavazi ya kiserikali ya polisi akavaa ya baba he took very well akajivaisha vizuri took that cap akavaa ile kofia he went in the side the mirror kaangalia kwa and he was like i look like a police inspector akaonekana yeye ni mkuu askari and he came before his father na akakuja kwa baba dad i need money for these errands na akamwambia baba nahitaji pesa and the father looked at the son na baba akaangalia mwana wake and when how the father, how the son was so comic na akashangaa kwani mwana ako na uwezo wa kimiujiza ndani kujiigiza igiza hivi but he quickly remembered na haraka akakumbuka if i wore this uniform and say something nikiwa naweza vaa hii nguo na nisema everyone obeys me and he told the son has going to take the authority and using that authority to demand something from me na anatumia mamlaka hiyo hiyo mavazi kupitia kitu kwangu clothed in the power of god vaa mavazi ya bwana mungu clothed in the power of god vaa mavazi ya uwezo wa you have the authority una mamlaka you see a police on the road unaona askari njiani very skinny yeye hata ana nguvu si mzito in that traffic uniform lakini amevaa mavazi ile ambayo ni ya kusimama barabarani ya serikali comes wakati lori kubwa linakuja the masses on the road ule mtu mdogo huyo katika mavazi and the hand of authority and that and that truck na ile lori kubwa stops ninasimama and if it doesn't stop na 
This man, this authority, and his skinny body, he has ability to call for the reinforcement. And the whole position can come out to come and defend him. Because he works with authority on that cross. The darkness signifies one thing. The devil lost his authority. That authority you have it. That authority you have it. And Jesus has told you in that authority in that authority go make disciples of all nations in that authority go and heal the sick in that authority go and raise the dead hallelujah from now henceforth, leo, lea, no one thing. The devil lost authority. He is under your feet. Ye, yuko chini ya that yako. is where he belongs. Hapo that is where he belongs. Hapo Trample him. Tell the devil. I put you where you belong. I walk on you right there. Let you go. You have no power on the line. You have no power to cause confusion. You have no power to cause sickness. You have no power to cause all these troubles. You have troubled me for long. You've troubled me for long. You've troubled me for many years. I've gone through your persecution. But from today, I discovered my authority. I discovered my authority. I discovered my authority. You remain under my feet. On that cross. That's why Paul says. Do sababu mtumishi wa Mungu Paulo asema. Kama wangelijua. They just known. Kama wangelijua. By crucifying the Lord Jesus. Kwa kumtulubisha Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. They were giving me victory. Ya kwamba walikuwa wananipa uwezo. They were giving me authority. Shindi. They will not have crucified. Wanga msulubisha Bwana huyu wa utukufu. Amen. And Jesus Christ, now yes, so he cried out loud, Akalia kwa sauti. Eloi, 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 Lama Sabakvani, mm. meaning, My God, Inaimanisha. my God, Mungu wangu, Mungu wangu. why have you deserted me? Umeniacha. Why have you left Kwanini me? Umeniacha. Jesus. Yes, from Christo, heaven. I'll talk you they have always been one with God right from the creation. They have just been one with God. All the years. He was here on earth. One with God always. Only for a short period. On that cross. He went through the separation. Why? That he may unite to us. And from uniting with us. Pay the penalty for that sin. Pay our death. And as he rises again. Unite us back to God. We were one with God. In the Garden of Eden. After the fall. After the, uh, after the fall. Okay, manguko, there was a gap. Na, uh, pengo. And Jesus. Na Yesu crossed over this gap. Na from pengo, God's side. Mbaka ule, se, mbaka ile from God's side. Uh, same ya mungu, to our side kutoka kwa sehemu ya Mungu kuja kwa sehemu yetu. Let us unite with us. Ili akaungane nasi. Die our death. 
upe kama sisi. Go to hell. And rise again. Tena. Then seal this gap. Na kaweza kutoa bento. Akatupeleke kwa Mungu Baba. His death kifo chake united us into Kanisa na Mungu Baba. His death kifo chake united us into Kanisa na Mungu Baba. We are one. Sisi tuko kitu kimoja. Na Mungu Baba. And because we are one with God, kimoja na Mungu Baba, we don't fail. Sisi God is a victor. Kwa sababu Mungu That's why we are in the victory land. Kwa sababu sisi tuko la hii. We are one with God. We have the seed of God. We never fail. We never fail. Haizisi watu shindwi. On the victory land. You can never take us out of that good land. We are one with God. Pamoja na Jesus crossed that gap. Took us. He cried out loud. I feel lonely, God. I feel you've left me because I've crossed over. Thank God for the Sunday morning. When those women visit that king. They found the angels of God having come down rolled over the stone raised Jesus from the dead he is reconnected back to God and this time round it's not just him now to us who received him we are all united to God Hallelujah. 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 How many of you like me come from the family environment? From the farming backgrounds like me. No, those who come from the farming background. Wale wanatoka kwa jamii za ukulima. Oh, za ukulima. Jamii za ukulima, misingi ya ukulima. Most of us here. Swengi wetu tunatoka kwa misingi ya ukulima. Very few people. Wachache tu. Those who come from farm environment. Or from a background. Kama zingira ambaye ni ya ukulima. I grew up knowing how to grow avocados and uh, oranges. Nilikuwa katika mazingira hayo ya kujua vile naweza panda na kuvuna and uh, we, avocado na machungwa. And we had this thing. Na tulikuwa na kitu hiki. We called it grafting. Mbacho tunaita kwamba uh, kupandisha mbegu. And the grafting what meant? Na kupandisha mbegu hii. You could take like an orange growing or or a, an avocado growing. Unaweza chukua kama ni avocado ambayo imeanza kumea. You cut that stem. Unakata ile kisina chake. And you get a foreign. Na unachukua mti wengine branch. Come and join on this stem. And you tie with the salt up. After a few days, this new branch grows. But the original one you've cut out. And now this one that grows, it picks these other species. And it grows faster than the original one. We were sinners. Destined for destruction. The death of Jesus kifo cha Yesu Kristo grafted us kikatuleta kuweza ku into the family of God jamii ya Mungu that we became the seed of God we became the family of God we became the children of God and John reminds us in John chapter 1 verse 12 na katika Yohana mmoja mstari wa 12 those who accepted him they were given the 
power to be called the children of God. You are the child of God. The children of God are never defeated. We are never defeated. We are more than victors. On this victory lane. Hallelujah. Verse 51. There was the earthquake. Kukawa na tetemeko la ardhi. What happened after the earthquake? Nini hicho kilichofanyika katika tetemeko la ardhi? The of the temple. Bia sema na pazia ya hekalu. Wa turn in the tomb. Ikapasuka kuwili huku na huku. Let me explain something before. Wacha ni seme kitu kabla tunaendelea. The modeling of God's temple in the Old Testament katika uh, katika nini kutengeneza ama kurembesha mitindo ya hekalu ya Mungu this how it was built hivi ndivyo ilivyokuwa imejengwa it will be a compound like this ilikuwa uh, ni sehemu kama hii outside there kule nje it was called the outer court kulikuwa na chumba kule chumba cha nje kwa mfano anyone who loved god mtu yote ambaye alingapenda angelikuja huko Few were allowed here. Kuna wachache wale walikuwa wanahitajika ndani. So those who came inside were strictly wale walikuja ndani of the house of Israel. Walikuwa tu kwa sheria ni wana wa ama watu wa Israeli. So if you love God you are not from the Israelites you would come in. Kama wewe ulipenda Mungu na si Mwisraeli kamili ulikuwa unakaa huko nje. But those who came also inside. Lakini wale ambao walikuwa na only one walikuwa kitu kimoja kwamba only one person oh ilikuwa ni mtu mmoja the priest kuhani who had sanctified himself for the whole year ambaye amejitakasa mwaka mzima will get right inside here angelikuja mpaka aweze kuingia katika this was called the holy of holies mahala patakatifu pa watakatifu and the holy of holies the and the holy place pa watakatifu na mahala patakatifu was separated by the and this curtain was made of metal na pasia hii ilikuwa imetengenezwa na chuma woven by the metal there chuma ama mabati so you could never break that kwa hivyo haungelivunja and anyone who goes the hall of holies na mtu yote ambaye angelitoka kule katika ingia katika kwa takatifu alikuwa anafungwa nyororo so that if he has sinned against god ili kwamba kama atakuwa ametenda dhambi kinyume na Mungu yeye atakufa hapa katika mtakatifu wangetingiza ile nyororo if he doesn't move kama isongi kipekee kwa hivyo wanagundua huyu ameshakufa kwa sawa na wanavuruta but if he shakes the noise still speaking to god they leave him lakini kama anatingiza mguu wake na hiyo nyororo inatingika wanajua yuko hai will carry all our problems to bring to god here kwa hivyo tunaona huyu mtu alikuwa ni wa kubeba dhambi zao watu zote na kuzileta hapa. But our Kenya, our corrupt Kenya. Lakini Kenya yetu ambaye ni ya ufisadi. I'm wondering. Nashangaa. If we give that person all our problems to get to get to go there. Tukipea mtu mmoja tu huyo mashida zetu zote yeye awe akituviendea pale. Maybe we charge us the consultation fee. Labda atatangulia kwanza aseme vile pesa uh, pesa za ku consultation fee za ku za ku kwanza kwa mawasiliano maybe they'll charge us some kind of offering yeah maybe they'll cha they'll charge us some kind of offering na baada ba ba hiyo tena watatusema tena kuna ingine ambaye nitakana utoe kwa sababu ya sadaka maybe sadaka ushindi eh yeah. ama sadaka kumuona Mungu <laughs> and when they get there because they have limited time with God. Na kwa sababu wataenda pale na waseme kwamba wamekuwa na muda mrefu na Mungu. Limited time. Ama wana muda mfupi na Mungu. Maybe they will get the problems of the relatives first. Labda walienda hapo wakawa They get the problems of the relatives first. Okay, walichukua shida za wale watu wa uko wao kwanza. Alafu wengine kuja baadaye. Alafu hao wengine ambao hawajajulikana watashughulikiwa baadaye. But look here. Lakini sasa tazama. When Jesus was on that cross. Wakati Yesu yuko pale msalabani. This curtain. 
The separated us from seeing God was turned into two. But you don't have to send the priests. You can come yourself to meet God. You can bring your problems yourself to God. That's why I don't believe these religions that you have to go to the priest and tell him my father I've seen the whole week and he tells me you are forgiven because he's presenting me to God no, the pattern was torn I can tell myself to God I don't need someone to go on my behalf We are on the victory lens. Don't let someone get you out there and go to present you there. You see it happened when God wanted to meet his own people at Sinai. And when people saw God coming with thundering and all that, they said, No, God, we don't want to speak to you. Let, let, let Moses come to you. Tell Moses everything. And then he will tell us. But on the cross, it is not about Moses to hear everything, it is about us. As hearing from God. Amen. 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 What's a man who will take consultation to one boy and then talk to Mungu? Where he has a muskia Mungu mnyewe. Amen. 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 What's a man who will take consultation to one boy and then talk to Mungu? Where he has a muskia Mungu mnyewe. Amen. You are given the access to get to God. Umepewa na fasi na fursa ya kumfikia mungu wako. The curtain was removed. Fia ilitolewa. Paul says that they've known. Paulo anasema kama wangalijua. By killing Jesus. Kwa kumua Yesu. They were given me access to God. They will never try doing it. Ya kueza kumfikia mungu. Hawange mjaribu hivo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you one thing. They killed one Jesus on the cross. They unveiled Jesus in the lives of every one of us. Now that Jesus is not only limited in Eldoret, we can see Jesus in Trukana. We can see Jesus in Pokot. We can see Jesus in Bungoma. We can see Jesus in Kakamega. We can see Jesus in Nandi. We can see Jesus everywhere. Because by killing Jesus on the cross, they killed a localized Jesus. Not less by the human body. They unveil the spiritual Jesus. He cannot be locked in one place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's in me. He's in you. He's in you. He's in us. He's everywhere. Had they known. They don't have tried by killing him. They placed all of us on the victory lane. They placed all of us on the on the victory lane. And one thing. I love. The victory lane. One thing I love. In Revelation chapter five. John the Revelator. He's lifted and is on the throne of God. And there on the throne, he saw God on his throne holding the scroll. And the scroll had, had all the information. The scroll had all the information. Okay. 
uh, chuo kilikuwa na ujumbe wote that he wanted to see ambaye ilitajika kuona but the scroll had been sealed by seven seals lakini unaona kwamba chuo kile kilikuwa kimefungwa na mihuri saba John cries out na basi Yohana analia kwa sauti because he is not able to open kwa sababu yeye hawezi fungua no one can break kile. those seals kuna mtu anaweza vunja mihuri hii and he says anasema i looked in heaven nikatazama juu mbinguni there was none hakuna yeyote i looked on earth nika hata duniani there was none i looked under the earth nikaangalia chini ya dunia there was none to open and i cried loud nikamlia mungu but one of the elders told me chini mzemo kati mzee kati ya wazee akaniambia john do not weep yohana usilie one has prevailed moja ndiye ameshinda the lion of the tribe of judah kabila wa yuda He is able to ana uwezo kunja miuri hizi zote saba. Not just breaking it. Si kuvunja tu, but is able to open the ana uwezo kunja na kufungua and he says and I looked. Na yaona nasema nikaona. Tazama. And behold the lamb of God. Tazama.